Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing. We're going to be checking out this game for the very, very first time. And let's get started. Wasting no time at all. Here is the main menu. We have Start My Career, Medals, Quick Race, Online Multiplayer, Recent News, Championship, My Cars, My Driver, Options, and Split Screen. Let's go into Options. We'll see what we have here. If you guys are a fan of the NASCAR Heat Series, you will be delighted with this game because... It is made by the same people. So Monster Games is the ones who make uh, NASCAR Heat Evolution all the way up to NASCAR Heat 4. And we've seen the evolution of uh, what they have developed over the years. And uh, they recently are no longer making the NASCAR Series games. So they are working on their own game. And that's what we see here, Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing. Um, here we are under gameplay. We've got difficulty preset. If you're used to... Uh, those type of games, then you'll be very, very, very uh, at home with all the options here. We've got car identifiers. I have those turned off myself. AI difficulties on custom 105. I want to show you how difficult they are. They, they absolutely kick your butt if you have them turned up. Full damage. Uh, race length is 50%. All flags uh, for strict yellow on that. Moving on, we've got driving presets here. Expert skill range is set to narrow. Stability less stable, recovery skill normal, compressed and normal. Uh, and you can choose between gamepad and steering wheel. But since I am on the Steam version, we have input mapping, all of these options. Display, I've got my resolution set to 1440p, full screen, every V blank, primary for the screen uh, qualities, medium right now. I'm going to turn everything up to high. Um, that should be good there. Audio, uh, music, I have turned all the way down. Uh, effects we have in the middle announcer set to Anderson I got to meet Anderson what a nice fellow uh, he is and uh, you have an option between him and Schneider uh, announcer volume I have it right where I like it not too in your face but uh, it just works out race music all the way down crowd level just turned all the way down for the most part wall reverb and bass boost is on race format so with dirt racing we have the heat format uh, let's explain that a little bit here so qualifying, to qualify, every racer drives two laps. Their fastest time is used to sort them in the qualifying order. The drivers are divided into different heats based on their qualify order. Drivers in qualify order 1, 2, 3, and 4 start first in heats 1, 2, 3, and 4, respectively. Drivers in qualify order 5, 6, 7, and 8 start second in heats 1, 2, 3, and 4, and so on. Heats, you have heat races. Determine which main race each driver proceeds to, the top Half finishers in each heat enter the A main, while the bottom half finishers enter the B main. Additionally, the top two finishers from each heat enter a bonus race called the Qualified Dash. The Qualified Dash determines the starting order of the top eight cars in the A main. Mains, let's talk about those. The top five finishers in the B main advance to the A main, and the A main is the main event overall. A driver's finishing position in the A-Main determines their final position for the whole race. There are things called showcase events. They are special events in career mode that have a slightly different format. In these events, there are five heats instead of four and four mains instead of two. Drivers are sorted into heats in alternating order based on their qualify order. After the heats, the drivers are placed into mains according to their heat finish position. So far, you've got here seventh or eighth in the D-Main, sixth to C, Fourth and fifth is B, third A, one or two is qualified dash. You hanging on there? You, you, you following along here? <laughs> In each main, the top five finishers advance to the next main. That's basically how the heats work. Uh, we'll talk about it as we go um, into the game itself. So we're not jumping into our career today. Instead, we're going to check out what options we have. If we open up Quick Race, we have the Ollie's Bargain Outlet All-Star Circuit of Champions presented by Mobile One. These are the 410 Sprint cars, and they are absolute beasts on the dirt. You have the 305 Race Series uh, as well, and then the All-Star Circuit of Champions TQ Midgets. Yes, you can drive the Midgets. They're a lot of fun to drive, I must say. So we're going to start off with the Midgets, and then we'll go up to the 305s, and then we'll move into the All-Stars. So the driver selection options we have here for the Midgets, we have the Patriotic Scheme, which is a DLC and will be uh, and locked when you get that DLC. Uh, uh, you got Ashley Albertson, Lane Beard, Corey Clay, Ron Combs, Stephen Davis, Johnny Goff. You got Matthew Hedrick, Johnny Haydenreich. And then you've got Johnny Kringis. And then you've got Anthony Lawrence, Matt Lux, Tate Martz, 
Austin Nye, Joey Paxson, Robbie Rowland, Tony Stewart in the 14, and then back to the beginning. Let's choose Tony Stewart for this race, and then we move on to the track selection screen. From what I have seen so far with all three series, you're able to drive those cars on all of the tracks. You have Arrowwood, Bridge Fork, Cannon Valley, Circle Lake, Denison, Desert Springs, Durango Park, Farm Mill, Five Forks. You've got Grant Park, Greenvale County, I-19 Speedway, Jacobs County, Kenyon County, Millersburg, Palm Tree, which is a DLC and it's a road course, Plum Branch, Prairie Creek, Rockberry, Roper Mountain, Stone Ridge, Sugarbush, Washington Park, Waterford, Woodley, and that is it. Quite a few tracks here. Now, they are fantasy tracks, but keep in mind, this is their first iteration of this game, and they're already talking to different tracks to try to get licenses for those tracks, which will be awesome in the long run. One thing I do love about this game is that, yes, in Durango Park here in Texas, we can drive under the lights inside a stadium, and it's pretty darn cool. So we're going to do that one first. All right, so here we are greeted in our main screen. We have practice, qualify, heats, qualify, dash, and mains, obviously. Uh, we can jump into changing what we want here. Um, you have recommended as your car setups, and uh, right now it says it's to tight. I like it all the way loose on that. If we go to custom race, we can edit this, and here are the options we can change. we got shocks, weight, torsion bar diameters, tire pressures, miscellaneous settings. One thing I do change quite a bit here is down at the very end, Rear end ratio, you can bump that up and you can get a shorter gear out of the car. Uh, we're going to save that setup, hit yes on that, uh, and we'll go back and we're going to go ahead and give that a shot here in practice mode. Here we are in our little midget, getting ready to pull out onto the track, waiting for these cars to go. And here we go in the midgets here at this track under the lights in a stadium. How cool is that? So I can hit the A button on my controller here and I can change between lap info. I've got uh, those options. And then whenever we're racing, we have the uh, leaderboards as well. Hitting the X button, we can change between our views. We got our nose view here. As you can see, we've got a interior view. We got a nose camera and then back to our third person camera. You can see we're riding on that limiter. That's what I wanted to do with the feel of the car. Try to get as much speed out of it as we can. And you're noticing in practice, we have a goal and a best. Our goal is we're trying to get a 1209 for a lap time. Get whatever you can out of it here. And no, we got a 1271. So we can go back to the garage and we can advance time just like this. So let's go ahead and go into the next session and we can now mess with things. Let's go back to our uh set up here i'm gonna go back to the recommended ones because what i like to do is just turn this all the way up to loose um i want to turn right more than left in the corners and that's the reason why i mess with it like that let's go ahead and start the qualifying, qualifying time. Good luck out there. and of course our gearing will be changed but you know what that's okay for right now i want a looser race car as we make our way around here. So we are on the Steam version of the game. Let me tell you this. I have been working with Monster Games and uh, they told me originally, hey, we're gonna be on console. I said, you've gotta bring this to PC. This has gotta be on Steam. It'll be a lot of fun. You're missing out if you don't do it. Uh, they listened to what I had to say and the reason why we have a Steam version of this game it's because I begged them. I was like, please bring this to Steam. And they did. They did listen, and they put this on Steam. Now, I'm going to show you something cool here uh, before too long in the next series. But uh, let's go ahead and move on from our qualifying session, which we're going to do terrible because we're getting destroyed by the AI at 105. And we're starting out in Heat 4. Top 5 advanced to the A main, and top 2 advanced to qualified dash. So we need to just stay in the top 5. We are Seconds away from the action. Let you listen to Anderson there, giving us a little encouragement. Green flag in the air. I'm going to open up my lap info, and here we can bring up the leaderboard. You can see where we're at compared to everybody else. Sliding around on the dirt in the little midgets, man. <laughs> I love these things. They're so much fun. Now, there will be multiplayer. You'll be able to race uh, as you would expect. 
in multiplayer. Man, we're doing pretty good right now. Just sticking to this guy out front. Stay at the bottom of the track. This seems to be working pretty well for us. Keep in mind they're at 105, and I'm telling you what, they're 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 pretty tough at this. Let's try to get a little bit more of an angle on this guy. It's not happening. This one's got a huge run. Us here we go. Bring it. Oh man, what a slide! He threw it way down in there. We do a slide job and wreck at the line, but we'll take second in that heat and we'll move on to the next. So now we move to the qualified dash. We start in eighth in that. Uh, we can hit continue there. We can open up the view replay and we can move uh, just like previous games that you know and love. You can move the right stick to go in and out of the uh, track. You can hit uh, the start button to toggle the overlays. You can toggle the music on and off. We don't have music playing right now, so it doesn't matter. But uh, some cool camera views you can see here of us getting around. We'll hit A on that so you can watch a little bit of the action there. The different camera views as you go flying into the corners. But man, I'll tell you what, the midgets are just so much fun. They really are. Okay, so let's go back on that and we'll hit continue. And now we move into the qualified dash. We're going to try to see if we can do better. Not too many cars in this. Yep, we're fighting for the A main right now. And these guys are going to be tough because they're going to be from different heats. All right, green flag in the air. Here we go, racing under the lights. And we're gonna try to get a better position in the A main, if we can. Get the inside of him, be ready for it. Sliding right next to those tires as deep as possible into the corner. Three laps to go. And I gotta say, you know, I'm a, I'm a wheel player. You know, when I play the games uh, like this, racing games, uh, heat games, I racing, you name it. I use a wheel, but with this game, like honestly, I'm using a controller and it just feels so great. Uh, it's so much fun. It's very, I feel so competitive on a controller and that's something new for me. Oh my God, nearly wrecked that dude. We are getting destroyed. You see what I'm talking about? They give you some confidence, but remember we were in heat four. So look at that sixth. So you think you're going to be good and you go into the qualified dash and my lord, you get destroyed. All right, so we're advancing to the A main and we're going to be starting sixth. Matt Lux there on the pole. Moving on from that, the menus move very quickly um, and we're starting in the A main sixth. Here we go. So a lot of cars out here on the track. It's time for the A main. It is time for the A main and we're ready to go racing here. Let's do it. We are just about ready to go. So take your seats in and join the We're ready to go, Green. Green flag in the air for the A main. Let's do it. Got 15 laps to get it done. We have 15, you know, 50% uh, uh, race length. All right, guys. Let's get to the bottom of the track. Try not to wreck him out doing it. Oh, contact everywhere. This is a little crazy. But I really want to show you guys just how difficult the AI is. They are absolutely destroying me at 105. You can fight them in practice. You can fight them in the the heat races. But I'll tell you what, when it comes to the A main, you better bring your A game. I'm not even kidding. All right, let's do an inside view here. You just see how much angle we're pitching into these corners and feeling it. Oh, a little contact there with that dude. Oh, more contact behind. That nearly destroyed us. Here's the inside view of the cage. The jittering, I'm not a big fan of because it uh, it really kind of kind of distracts you and makes it feel like you're at a less uh, frame rate than you are. Oh, hello. All right, ten more laps to go, and we're really, really fighting for position here. It's. It is not easy, to say the very least. The inside of him. We are tearing it up out here. We're finally getting our groove here and getting some decent times going. Put these up on the main board here and you can see who we're racing against. But I liked having a loose race car. I like to turn right in the corners.
it's pretty crazy how much fun you can have in the in the midget series. So imagine the three oh fives and four tens and we'll get to check that out before too long here. All right, six laps to go. We're doing everything we can here. Really trying to slide in front of these guys and maintain some decent speed. We're at 14th right now, which isn't terrible. It's not great, but it's it's not real bad either. All right, four laps to go. We're starting to find our groove now. But with the controller, it just it's just fun. I think that's the best way to explain it. It's just fun. I've, I've raced this with my wheel, and it feels like work. You're like, man, I really have to fight the car the whole time. Maybe I haven't found a setup for my wheel yet that I like. But with the controller, I, f I feel like I'm, I'm able to do something with it, you know? And sure, if I, I wanted to make this more competitive for myself, I would drop their AI difficulty down. But 105 is, they aren't messing around, man. All right, so there you go. We finished 12th in the A main. And to me, that's nothing to scoff about. It really isn't. All right, let's move on to the 305 sprint cars and uh, check these out. Now, check this out. The very first time in my life, this is this this tickles me every time I see it. Um, but I'm actually in the game. I'm one of the drivers as a field filler, um, and it is pretty darn cool. So I'll start at the top. We have my car. We can change that, make it custom all we want. Uh, the Patriotic uh, livery, of course. Ben Armstrong, Dale Baker, Jeff Aviano, that's me, uh, Vincent Jackson, Chris Lopez, Chuck Parker, Corey Price, Cody Rodriguez, Heath Torres, uh, Samantha Wilson, and that is that. So now if you're racing in the 305s, you know, if you support the channel and everything I do here, um, you can race as me, but if you don't like me, you can put me in the wall and uh, you can race me as dirty as you want. So that's kind of a win-win, right? So let's go through the tracks. Let's find one that is uh, unique and different. Um, we'll go to Grant Park in Indiana. It's a 3 8 mile track, low banking, and uh, we'll see what that one's all about. Getting some practice in here with the 305s and automatically you can tell the difference between these and the midget cars these have a lot more power in them uh and wow they really hold in the middle of the corner pretty darn well i mean we need to make some adjustments perhaps on the gearing for sure because it's it seems like the gearing ratio is a little off for this track and we could adjust that all we wanted to for speed but i'm kind of liking how loose the car feels one more lap here on our qualifying. We'll see where we end up at. Yeah, improvements needed in lap two for sure. They are not wrong about that. It seems like I need a little bit more gearing to get to get it done like I want to. So 13.98, 30 second. Yeah, you know what I think we're gonna do? We're gonna change up the Yeah, that's pretty bad. So I think we're gonna change up the options and we're going to make this easier for ourselves. So here we are in the quick race settings. We can change everything we want here. Difficulty of the AI. I'm going to drop these guys down to about 100 uh, and see what that does. The difference between 105 and 100 there. Um, I think I'll be happy with that. We'll save those uh, and we'll go back to Grant Park. All right, final lap of qualifying. We'll see where we end up here. If it was any better than what we just had. And we end up at 13.62, 24th. So, yes, it's a little bit better. Uh, we have a better shot for sure, but not extremely easy, that is for certain. We'll move on from 24th, and we move to heat number four. Remember the top five advance to the A main? Oh, he's saying it right there. Top two advance to qualify dash. Let's see what we can do here with the 305s. And green flag in the air. Here we go, folks. I love these tracks under the lights. A lot of night racing is what you're going to see here in this game, and that makes me really happy. 
Back to our outside view here, get around everybody. Working the brakes there uh, to try to prevent them slamming into the wall or some other race, race car driver. Whoa, hello. We move ourselves up into second for a, for a second there. <laughs> there we go, working on Jimmy Lewis. He's got a nice, He's got a nice line he's running right now. He's running all the way high and then all the way down to that white line. And I am not able to get down there just yet. Let's try right here. Not without turning left. And turning left, I'm scrubbing so much speed when I do that. I'm going to turn right to go fast, right? Yes. One more lap to go. Giving her everything she's got, Captain. We're not going to be able to touch Jimmy Lewis. He is a rocket sled on rails. All right, so there you go. We finished second in heat four, and we're going to move on from there because we need to position ourselves in the qualified dash to uh, try to get into a main. It is the qualified dash. Determine the A main starting position. Here we go. We're going to skip this, and we're going to jump right into it. All right. Green flag in the air. Here we go. No holding back here, folks. I love the angle that the AI get in the corners. Oh, we had a nice run there. Let's see if we can hang on to it. Usually don't have this much speed, so knocking them down to 100 has been really nice and helpful. So I got to say, as far as physics go, um, if you enjoyed the NASCAR heat uh, dirt racing, you're going to love this one. Oh contact there with him you're gonna enjoy it uh, but I can say you feel just how much lighter these cars are than like a uh, you know a campy world truck or the uh, the NASCAR Cup Series you're, you're gonna you're gonna feel just the difference in the weight alone with the physics of the game so these 305s ah, a little contact there but we're fighting for third I'm noticing the difference immediately and you'll see with the 410s, those things aren't messing around, man. They are not messing around at all. Okay. We're really fighting for that heat. We finished third. I'm happy with it. It is showtime. The A main. Here we go with the 305 race series. Driving the number five, Jeff Fabiano car. That is still crazy to me. <laughs> so amazing. It is showtime, Anderson. Here we go. Green flag in the air. Trying to get to the inside of Ben Armstrong. And we get it done all the way down into turn three. Can we maintain our speed? That is the question. No, not at all. Keith Torres and Chuck Parker get around us. No problem. We're still fighting for position here all the way down to fifth. But remember, this is the best of the best. We're racing the best of the best right now, and it is not going to be easy. Trying to get to the inside of Chuck Parker. He's got a lot of speed on the outside, almost four wide there. Contact. Is that Jimmy Lewis we got into there? Now we're fighting with Samantha Wilson in the purple car, purple and black, 46. And look at that, Chuck Parker sneaks right by with a slide job between us two to try to take the lead again. Here we come to the inside. Trying to steal it away from Chuck, but he is right there. 16 laps to go. Side-by-side -side racing with Chuck Parker as we get out of turn number two. We're able to charge back to the lead. We're just swapping for position back and forth. Slide job after slide job and stealing away. It looks like Chuck Parker got tight and almost got into the wall back there. That allows us to start running away with it a little bit here as Chuck is trying to make his way to us. And up ahead, we have lap traffic, which is going to make things a lot more difficult. we got to watch just how much angle we're throwing the car because that is scrubbing so much speed off to where Chuck is able to catch up to us. There we go. Right turn to go fast, and that's exactly what we need to do here. In the A main, fighting around the 13 to put them a lap down. And this, folks, is the best I think I've ever run here in this game so far. Now, I've been practicing with the game. I've had it for a few days. All right, 11 laps to go. Let's focus up and try to get it done here. 
tonight under the lights. Chuck Parker's got a lot of work, a lot of work to get around those lapped cars. And we're gonna focus up and try to do the best we can here. I'm noticing running that white line seems to be really good for us here. Truly does, watch out for that guy. Try not to get into him. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just letting off the gas, pumping the gas a couple times through the corners. And by having such a loose race car, we're able to maintain a slide for the most part through the front stretch. I haven't been able to do it from the back stretch just yet, but uh, you can tell whenever you're not sideways, you're losing so much speed. All right, working on these guys. These are lappers again. Trying to run the best we can here. After getting absolutely stomped in the last race. All right, we're finding our groove here, and we have five laps to go. Five to go for five. Let's try to get it done. The three car is starting to gain on us. He is making his way through traffic pretty easily right now, and we're losing a lot of speed in these corners. We need to try to get better at that. But I am dealing with traffic, trying not to run into them. That's, that'll lose a lot of speed if I get into an accident or get into one of these guys and the caution flag comes out. We don't want that. Three laps to go right now. And we're doing everything we can. Let's ride on board here. And you can just see what it is like in these corners. It's absolutely crazy. Two more laps to go. Two to go at the strike. And the three car trying to find his way to us. And I don't think he's going to have enough time to do it. One lap to go. You hear the car bogging down in the corner, so I want a little less. There we go. If you have, see what I mean? If you have less of an angle, the car doesn't lose so much speed. And look at that. Yes, we'll take the win here. Wow. First time I have won a race in this game happens to be when I'm showcasing it. So how about that? We take P number one away from Paul Taylor, which really, really, really uh, fought us there at the end. But what happened to Chuck Parker? He had an issue with the car, got in the wall and lost a bunch of spots. Art Watson uh, finishes third, fourth. Samantha Wilson, fifth to Patrick Young. Will Gray in sixth, eighth is Joe Rogers, ninth to Torres. And then Jimmy Lewis rounds out the top 10. So there you go. We got our first win, achievement unlocked, sliding to victory, expert highest diff win difficulty there. With one win, I have raced there twice. Let's move on to the 410s. All right, so we have the winged 410 sprint cars here. We've got my car, Patriotic Scheme, uh, Corey Alayson, uh, Eliason, maybe, uh, Skylar Gee. We've got Sam uh, Haffertepe uh, Jr. We've got Gerard McIntyre, uh, Paul McMahon, uh, Justin Peck, Aaron Rutzel. We've got Tony Stewart, Greg Wilson, Zeb Weiss. Then we've got Brock Zierfoss, and that is all we have there for the 410s. A big uh, apology if I am butchering the names. I don't like, I don't know a lot of the names here. Um, but rutzel has got a cool looking sprint car with the black and gold. I think we're going to roll with that. Let's move on and see what we got here. We have a couple more tracks we can check out um, in the 410s. Let's do Kenyon County Fairgrounds in Wisconsin uh, for our first one. So we're in practice right now. You can see that we got a car out there on the track right now. I want to show you what you can do in the 410s, and that is this. Let me put it in reverse here. Right there, you can you can pop a wheelie in the four tens in this game. How cool is that? So yes, I know that was something people are going to ask immediately, and you can do it. So yes. All right, we have the loosest setting we have on the car, and I'm still feeling like it's tight. We need to get used to it. It's a lot shorter than the last track we were at here. So and the cars are different. So. You have to really play with the throttle in the corners with these cars, otherwise you're gonna go off the edge. So with the four tens, I'm using the brakes and the, the throttle equally as much, got in the wall there. But you can just see how crazy these things are. Watch 
how much that nose lifts off the ground in a straight line. It's pretty insane. And it feels like the car is just plowing the corner off. So that means that we did, there we go. Now we're getting a better, better feel for the car right now in the corners. Lap time. That was a smoking lap time. Look at that corner. Whoa wee. All right, so now we're starting to get uh, get it down a little bit here. Amazing. All right. That was a great lap. That was a great lap. Okay, so practice is going to be done for us. Let's go to qualify. So here it says practice goal missed. You did not hit the practice lap. Goal time. Would you like to reduce the difficulty? So you can hit start here and you can change the difficulty by doing that so now you go out there and try it out and try to hit your mark again if you would like so it does adjust it based on how you were doing out there on the track all right we're trying to finish out lap two and qualifying here not a strong start for us at all i don't expect that to be decent uh eighth okay we did better than i thought we were gonna do so that's good advancing now to heat number four we'll be starting second in heat four there we go, and we'll move on to that. You just see how fast the game flows. It just boom, 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 you're there. Under the lights here at Kenyon County Fairgrounds, getting ready to go racing. Top five, advance the A main. That's what we're trying to do here. Green flag in the air. Here we go, starting the outside. And we're finding our way around McMahon. Trying to take that lead away. Using the brakes there, using the throttle. Oh, and we get into the wall a little bit there. A little too much. But we're able to drive away from a little bit here. I'm actually kind of shocked by that. I'm not sure what difficulty it dropped us to. Whoa, by having a bad uh, practice session, but seems to be doing okay. However, remember we're in a heat race here. This is not the A main. So you don't you don't want to get cocky. You don't want to be like, oh man, we're destroying the field. And then you go to the A main and get destroyed. Uh, that's happened to me quite a few times. <laughs> I was like, man, I'm gonna do well in this race. Nope, not at all. One lap to go here. Racing the heat four. Oh, got a little bit of air there on the nose. That's what I'm talking about. You have to play with the throttle a lot more than you would expect. And across the line we are. We take the win and heat four, and we move on now to the qualified dash, and we'll see where we end up there. It is time for the qualified dash. Determine the A main starting position, and we are presented by J.E. Pistons. Look at that. Green flag in the air. Here we go, racing, and we're going to the outside of everybody there in the very beginning. And Tony Stewart out front right now. Had a nice run on the back stretch, giving plenty of room to these guys. But man, they are starting to make quick work of us on the inside lane. Not a lot we can do hanging on the outside. We're fighting Corey Eliasson. Eliasson, I'm not really sure how you say his name. Maybe Eliasson. Sorry, Corey. Whoa. On the inside, try to pull a slide job off if we can. He lost a lot of momentum there and now we're racing against Tony Stewart all the way in the front we have a lot of power on that outside two laps to go see if we can get it done and Tony got a little tight in the corner there and we're going to try to keep him from taking the inside from us one lap to go keep it going keep it going don't run off the track And I think we might have him here. And we do. Look at that. Checkers for the qualified dash. We'll take first in that. And now we advance to the A main. This is where everybody is going to bring their A game. And we'll see how that. Look at that. In the very beginning, we just drove to the outside of everybody. We were able to power by them. But, man, the inside lane had all of the momentum. As you saw, Stewart and uh, Eliasson were really, really doing well down there. All right, folks. Yes, it is. Time for the A-Main. Let's do it. Let's do it. The Ollie's Bargain Outlet All-Star race. Tony Stewart on the outside, of course. Green flag in the air. Here we go racing. 
It is showtime. Oh, watch that nose came off the ground there. We got to watch how much of that accelerator we're giving it, how much throttle. It lifts that nose off the ground, and you can't steer the car when it's in the air like that. Fighting on the inside of Weiss, and now the caution flies. Not sure what happened there. Somebody might have wrecked out, lost control. But uh, now we're going to be back, getting ready to restart here. Under the lights, Kenyon, here we go. Green flag in the air, and we are watching out. Make sure we don't run into the back end of that guy, because these are open wheel race cars. Nothing great happens when you uh, you run into somebody, let me tell you. Tony Stewart powering on the outside there. Greg Wilson, Greg Wilson gives it up, and now the caution flies again. Somebody else got into something. And we're going to be starting on the inside lane this time. Starting third on the inside of Skylar Gee. Right, Hold on to your seat. Here we go. Here we go. Green flag in here. Watching how much of that throttle we give at the beginning to the inside of Tony Stewart. Slide job, but watch out for the 11. He's trying to make his way up there at Zeb Wise. And he was able to get biased there. Now we're a three wide with a 13. I think that's Paul McMahon down at the bottom trying to get it done. We're fighting on the outside lane, trying not to put it in the grass. Oh, contact between us and Wise. Nearly wrecked him. And Tony Stewart goes around, and that was the 11 of Wise got spun. I think we got into Wise there, and that was definitely our fault. Wow. It's starting to spice up a little bit, folks. We are now going to be starting the outside of Paul. Get ready to go. Green flag racing. Green flag in the air. Let's watch our speed. Watch that throttle on the restart. Don't want that car to get in the air. Here we go. Fighting that outside lane with Paul. And it's working out for us right now. Going to focus up and try to, to maintain this position. Almost put it into the grass. Five laps to go here in the A main, trying to get it done. By dropping the difficulty, we were able to get the racing we have gotten here. Because if we were at 105, whoa, almost lost control of the car. If we were at 105, we would definitely need to work on our car setup to get it done. Can you imagine this online? This would be a blast to race people online on the dirt. Three laps to go. They're saying something about the concession stands, I believe. Oh, and the caution comes out. That's going to change it up. We're going to lose our lead there. And now it's going to be us versus Zeb Wise, who we turned earlier in this race. We'll see if he's going to retaliate. Here we go. Green flag in the air. Watch the throttle. Watch that nose, man. I was really bouncing there. We had a wheel hop happening right there on the inside of the corner. I'm turning way left, way too much. One lap to go. Here we go, folks. Come on. They really tried there at the end, but, man, we're still able to keep out front. And the caution comes out again. Oh, man. Well, there you go. I've, I've done a lot of 410 races without any cautions at all, so this is actually pretty interesting to see. All right, here we go. Green flag racing once again. Watch out for McMahon on the outside lane. Two laps to go. Watch that wheel hop. There's a little bit of almost contact. Oh, we get into the grass. The inside of them fighting on the outside now. One lap to go. This is for the win in the A main, folks. Working on Greg Wilson on the outside lane. I'm going to try to take the bottom from him. Lost a lot of speed there, but we're going to come down to the line, and we're going to win the A main. That was, that was so much fun. Wow. Holy cow, man. There you have it. We take the win. Greg Wilson in second. Third to Tony Stewart. Fourth to Jack Carter. Fifth is Sam Afrotepe Jr. And then uh, Paul McMahon, Skyler Gee, Gerard McIntyre Jr., Corey Eliasson. And then uh, you got Jeremy Davis. Rounding out the top 10, you do that replay. Man, that was cool stuff. Here we are looking at the onboard cameras. And we can zoom, you can change, you know, obviously your uh, 
the speed. You can scrub through the the replay all we want. I want to see the end, man. That was there's some great racing that was going on there between not only me and Tony Stewart, but man, me and uh, Zeb Wise were going at it in this race. Absolutely stellar. Oh man, there was that contact we had with the 11 car, and that right there, we just sent him around by touching him. That's all it took. And then we were back under caution again, so we can watch this replay of the restart. And these these restarts were all about finding your groove, man. They really were using every bit of that track we possibly could there. So so many tracks to choose from, so much to see. Next time we're going to be checking out the career mode and you'll get to see what that's all about. Here's the final results here, Kenyon. We got first here for us. We'll gladly take that as the win. And uh, look at that. And A main just by bumping it down. I wonder what they dropped us to. We'll see here after it awards us this win on hard was the highest. Okay. So when you go into here, it automatically changed us down to 97 is what it dropped us to. So we were competitive at 97 uh, to get the win. Uh, anything over that, we would have had to work on it for sure. I-19 Speedway, I can tell you, is a lot of fun. I've done that in the midgets. Um, there's so many cool tracks. This one's a DLC. I got to play this uh, in an earlier build. Um, and turning right in that uh, in that track is just so much fun, uh, getting down the apex to that on a dirt car like this. But honestly, the, the feel of the physics are, are, are a lot of fun. Uh, you can really, really tell how light these cars are. That's the best way to explain it. Um, because the only other thing I can tell you that I can compare it to is from the heat games of the truck series on dirt. And the trucks are so heavy. When you move over to something like this, it's just the rockets, man. They're absolute rockets. Well, there you go, guys. Let me know what you thought in the comments below of Tony Stewart's Sprint Car Racing. Check it out on February 14th. And then a week later... You can expect a release on Steam. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.